All right, sorry for the quality of the filming. Yes, I'm doing it with one hand, guys. Now this is pure wave. I paid uh, two hundred. 11 US dollars I think for it plus shipping and some other charges I think but uh, it was 211 dollars to my best memory all right let's get that out twelve volt to two hundred 20 volt it is supposed to be universal plug I'm testing it over here in Australia that should work let's see yep it went in. Got these cables. Go to remote control with it. Got some fuses and the screws of the washer over here. Okay. Right. I'm a little bit hurrying up as I'm conscious for the time that it takes for you guys to watch it. And I'm conscious of the storm coming up. I'm just realizing that my battery is not gonna go on that, which gonna be a uh, a little problem. Yes. Oh no, that's a screw. So it will go on. Perfect. I got a 12 volt battery over here. I have charged it overnight. I'll try to test it with one hand if I can. Sorry guys, I want you to see that. picks up quite well on the camera because of the angle I have to have uh, when I'm filming it and testing it let's connect the unit to the battery
I actually just forgot. Maybe if I hold camera in my left hand, I'll do everything with my right hand, which is my predominant hand. It probably will be easy. Now there will be some loss of current, I guess, in these connections. It won't be the greatest. But it will uh, still give us some idea of what it's gonna do. Alright, give me a second, I'll get a pair of plies to undo this bolt. Well, black is negative, red is positive. Excellent. Let's Okay, so it is on. I got 12 2 volts. Now I got a few devices over here. I got kettle which is 2200 watt. I got a blower which is 2200 watt. I got chainsaw which is 1,800 I got a grinder which is 1,200 let's put kettle on first So it's struggling with kettle. This is 3500 inverter. It's struggling with kettle which is 2200. Cuts out, all the cuts in and out. Like this. Okay, let's try something small. Well, that's, to be honest, a little bit... ...disappointing. I got a chainsaw which is 1800 so it does the same thing with chainsaw not coping with it. Okay, so I can't run chainsaw on my battery. Let's try Grinder. Grinder is 1200 watt. I'll plug it directly into the unit. Okay. Well, it can't handle the grinder either.
Okay. Let's disconnect it from the battery and connect it possibly to uh, a car battery. I connected it to the car battery, started the battery now. I turned it. There you go. It just uh, sparked and shot cut it. That's it. That's a waste of um, 200 bucks. Alright, I connected black to negative, red to positive. <coughs> Over here, again, red positive, black negative. Uh, let's um, try to turn it on once again. Now it's not in the vehicle, and we'll see if it actually uh, creates a fire hazard or not. Now it shows 11.9 volts and no voltage output. Obviously 11.9 volts is not too high. I have this wand over here. Let's see if I can plug it in. Now it seems like it's draining power from the battery. Yeah, it's definitely draining power from the battery when it's not even operating. Alright, I'll start my power. Yep, nothing happens. I'll um, get another battery.